This is your three minute radiation fallout forecast update for Thursday afternoon, February 23rd through Friday afternoon, February 24th. This update will only reflect changes to the U.S. forecast. In the U.S., the jet stream from Japan has taken a sudden turn north to the state of Alaska. The following Alaskan cities are at risk of high potential nuclear fallout if precipitation occurs. Boone, Alaska, Akutan, King Cove, Sand Point, Kodiak Island, Hooper Bay, Tuxok Bay, Kipnook, and all cities along the Bay Inlet and upriver. Anchorage, King Salmon, all cities west of Kenyai Fjords National Park and Moose Pass, Yakutat, and Juneau. Hawaii remains free of the jet stream at the present time. In the continental U.S., although there is only light precipitation in the Pacific Northwest as well, the jet stream will be bringing heavy moisture on shore over the next 24 hours. The Midwest is also experiencing an unexpected increase in snowfall, with 8 inches of snow being predicted for Michigan this evening. If you are fortunate enough to own a Geiger counter, please consider sharing your readings with Radiation Watch or the Radchik page on Facebook. With the current and ongoing threat in Japan, all precipitation should be treated as containing nuclear fallout unless proven otherwise. Please familiarize yourself with the jet stream maps, a link for which you can find on FukushimaFacts.com. All children should be well covered if going outside, especially their face and mouth, as outdoor recess at schools is considered mandatory. Every school in the country should be checking outdoor readings before allowing children to play outside, especially in the Pacific Northwest and during times of heavy rain or snowfall. Existing schools around nuke plants have Geiger counters and do this regularly. And yes, I said schools around nuke plants. Please share this information with everyone you know, especially if they have children. Remember the saying, it takes a village to raise a child? Please visit FukushimaFacts.com for more information and news, mitigation, weather charts, fallout monitors for Japan, the U.S., and Europe, and educational videos. This problem is not going away in our lifetimes and possibly our children's lifetimes as well. The weekend radiation fallout forecast for Canada, the U.S., and Europe will be posted on Friday. This message has been brought to you by Radchik and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.